Dayon Raptor. The Boy Scouts of the Philippines denies Binay got 200 million pesos in kickbacks in a land deal. Senator Miriam Santiago will complete her term as senator in spite of cancer. And Google executive Eric Schmidt predicts the internet will disappear. Hello, I'm Maria Ressa. This is Rappler's Rap for the Day, a list of the most important events around the world you shouldn't miss. The Boy Scouts of the Philippines or the BSP denies Vice President Jejomar Binay shortchanged the organization in a land deal. The BSP says it's not aware of any transaction with the real estate company, contrary to charges that Binay pocketed close to 200 million pesos in a deal with Alpha Land. Alpha Land Corporation plans to sue Ernesto Mercado for criminal libel and defamation. Mercado claims Binay received a 5% kickback from the deal with the company. The Philippines plans to raise China's massive reclamation in the South China Sea in an upcoming meeting. Foreign Secretary Albert Del Rosario considers Beijing's work in disputed reefs, uh, in his words, blatant violation of agreements of the Association of Southeast Asian Nations, or ASEAN, with China. Del Rosario calls China's construction work a threat to all 10 ASEAN members. Despite accusations of a massive reclamation, China says it is, in its words, against the bullying of small countries. Senator Miriam Santiago will complete her term as senator until 2016, despite her lung cancer. In a letter to Senate President Frank Drillon, Santiago says she decides to stay under qualified medical leave. In July 2014, Santiago announced she had stage 4 lung cancer. Saudi Arabia's King Abdullah dies at age 90 after a lung infection. Under Abdullah's leadership, Saudi Arabia was a key U.S. ally in the Arab world, most recently joining the U.S.-led coalition carrying out airstrikes against the Islamic State group in Syria and Iraq. Malakanyang says Saudi Arabia's late King Abdullah granted clemency to Filipinos under trial and reached into his own coffers to assist OFWs on death row. King Abdullah is replaced by his brother Salman as the ruler of the world's top oil exporter and the spiritual home of Islam. Google boss Eric Schmidt predicts the internet will disappear. At the World Economic Forum in Davos, Schmidt explains the internet will be part of our presence all the time. Schmidt says, Imagine you walk into a room and you are interacting with all the things going on in that room. There will be so many sensors, so many devices that you won't even sense it. It will be all around you. He adds, as the internet disappears into the background, a highly personalized, highly interactive, and very interesting world emerges. For those on desktop, click on the links on your screen. You can also click on the tabs below to go to a story in the video. And for those on smartphones and tablets, the links can be found below the video. Rappler has a user engagement model, a patented one, that puts a mood meter on every story. It gives you eight emotions to choose from. If we take a look at the mood navigator at the middle of the front page, you can see that the story that's gotten the most number of votes in the last 24 hours is this. Photos show China's massive reclamation in the West Philippine Sea. 79% say they're happy, happy that it's been discovered, or and 16, 18% angry that green, bringing out the mood of the day. Today, most people are happy. That is the wrap for today, Friday, January 23. Visit Rappler.com for the latest news here and around the world. Check out our other shows, Tech Wrap and Talk Thursday. And if you haven't yet, subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'm Maria Ressa. As we say at Rappler, tomorrow begins today. <laughs>